There Whoa. is a lot of lore. Novels here! Okay, okay, good. Yeah, we need to figure this out, man. Yeah, I, I, I can't wait, dude. Tomorrow, I can't believe tomorrow this shit's actually gonna come out. A yeah. And we're not even gonna have to wonder anymore. In, in, in 24 or less hours... Probably more. Everything will be revealed, dude. Everything. We will know it all. That's actually true. What the fuck? I'm thinking about Think that. Think about wow. that. Think about that, dude. Holy shit, dude. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, uh, we'll go to this next one here. Or in patch 8.2. Most of it is quite immediate, but okay. Blizzard have updated a certain plot thread. One that over a year ago we pointed out would be massive for the future of the lore. Okay, and this came out in April. Holy shit, this is like months hey everyone, ago. everyone, and welcome back to another Warcraft video. Yeah, we're really in for it, and uh, I mean, like it or not, your Warcraft character canonically has seriously messed up time and time again. I mean, shit. the character seems to be a bit of a bumbling fool who just keeps on helping Nazoth and, you know, having consequences. Now, would you like to be more intelligent than your WoW character? Well, while okay. I've not quite finished my course on spotting eldritch schemes, today's sponsor, Skillshare, does have a new course that I'm pretty darn excited about. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 25,000 courses for only okay. $10 a month. I think, did I cut out last time? That's yeah. great, but what's even better is that the first Okay, here's what I wanted to say about my that. Link will get two months of it for free. And with that, I recommend checking out this course that I have yeah. been really excited about design like uh, draplin so aaron draplin is one of my favorite people over there he's done a bunch of courses his new skillshare original course gives a fantastic look into how uh -huh. it works so fast covering tips for before during and after the design process it's been personally super useful to me it's over two hours long all broken up into super easy to digest chapters and just look at how great the reviews for it have been as well and that's not even covering his other amazing courses so i'd recommend that there's so much there the price is super low and what's brilliant is that you can try it all out with two free months of with my code so a massive thank you to skillshare for sponsoring the channel and let's get into the video and we're going to start so what were you gonna say sorry i didn't want to interrupt the ad man yeah okay it's over anyway i was watching one of the videos from one of the people that upload all your shit to youtube yeah yeah and you were watching one of his videos and the people the people okay like you know asmongold low lights and fucking whoever okay i see all your your fucking channels by the way and i read all the comments Ooh. they cut out they cut out bellular's ad so that he couldn't benefit from it they cut it out and just kept your content listen guys like there there's almost no way i mean like we do the re we we watch the videos right and i'm sure that helps certain creators because then people watch my video and they learn about the person whose video that i'm watching right yeah of course that happens but we want to make sure that these guys get their ads out there and they're able to, you know, like make money, right? And and obviously we can't do it. I don't want to deal with DMCAing things or anything like that. The only thing that we really need to make sure that we do is if you guys are going to do that, I think I did the run on this character. Let me go ahead and double check real quick. Uh, they also don't link Bellier's video. Yeah, you guys, if you're making videos about my videos, right? If you're putting it on YouTube, link my stream, link the video that I'm watching, and make sure that if they have an ad in it, you get to show the ad too, right? Because that's part of the, uh, I feel like that's part of the trade. You know what I mean? How do you profit off of ads on other people's video? Well, it's extra impressions for his video, right? And for his ad. And because people are using his ad and they see his referral code, that's a higher percentage of people that he's able to convert over to using the website with his referral code, which is going to help him can, uh, you know, secure future sponsorships. Like that's basically how it works. And, and so that that's why. Uh, there's actually a specific reason. Okay. Uh, it, it's common sense if you, if you know what's going on. Start off in Warlords of Draenor. Yeah, yeah was. Assholes. I know, right? Yeah. Weird. This is where it kicks off, and it really is quite wacky. So we defeated Archimonde, and we found that on his person, there was a remnant of chaos. I mean, yeah, sure, he's a pretty chaotic guy, right? Yeah. That makes sense. Well, no, because we take that remnant of chaos to Malfurion, and he tells us that he's only encountered something like it once before in the okay. Emerald Dream near the Rift of Alan, which is a place that he said radiated an ancient evil that came from the sea. He oh. was shocked that the Legion would have had such a thing, so he quickly leaves for Valshara, and of oh. course that's where we next meet him in the Legion expansion. Uh, yeah, 
Arkham Shit. Arkham had something from the Emerald Dreams last night. Now, I didn't even realize that. wondering what this Rift of Valen is. Well, it's where we fight Xavius in what the game. What the fuck? Uh, but it's actually a big problem place. We're not really sure what it is, but it's been speculated by the Druids that it's the place where the Emerald Dream formed, with the Druids also believing that it is connected to both the Twisting Nether and the Great Dark. So, Holy I mean, basically shit. time and space, right? So yeah, Archimonde, who visited the alternate timeline through the Twisting Nether, uh, had an item from our Emerald Dream, a corrupted item, uh, seemingly, yeah, through this whole time-space link through the Rift of Elm. How? Why? What's going on? Okay. Well, it's all via Xavius. Now, why would Xavius be working with the Burning Legion? Well, he wasn't. Because he's I stupid. I mean, Malfurion says this. No doubt Xavius he's and dumb. his ancient master delight that so much of our attention goes to fighting the Legion. Yeah. Okay. So it was kind of a big distraction. Now, Xavius oh. in the Storm Rage novel was uh, kind of killed-ish and then banished to the Rift so of So was that the, was that the meta? Was that, was that like the, the meta plan that, that the old gods had was to summon the Legion into to Azeroth and distract the players while the old gods started corrupting the Titan and Azeroth itself? Holy shit, man. What the fuck? Also, That's deep. you know, the place that links time and space. Uh, well, through this, he was clearly able to influence sure is. Archimonde, who, of course, had Gul'dan instigate the Legion expansion. Okay. And this was all done through Nadzoth's control of the Rift of Valen. Uh, this is, you know, something that I think gets more worrying when you realize what the Emerald Dream actually is. Why? Well, the Emerald Dream uh, basically is Azeroth or as an aspect of her. Uh, here's what Chronicle has to say about it. Some believe Freya wove the Emerald Dream into being from nothing. Others claim that this strange place had always existed in some form, a dream born from Azeroth's slumbering world soul. It is said that Freya tapped into this realm and molded what, what would fuck? become known as the Emerald Dream as a way to commune with the nascent Titan. Yeah, I think it's pretty darn clear that the Emerald Dream is a part of Azeroth. After all, Magni even talks about the way that he communicates with Azeroth and how it's all, you know, natural things like the feeling of a sunrise. Quite simply, it all lines up. The Emerald Dream is an aspect of the world soul. Okay. And this means that even before Legion, Azoth had quite a lot of control over one of clearly the most important parts of the dream, the Rift of Valen. Now, indeed, we know that he had influence. And then uh, there's like the tentacles the in the Rift, too. That's of the novel Storm Rage. Now, considering that the dream originates from Azeroth, well, yeah. Yeah, that's all pretty darn worrying. Uh, it does, of course, get worse, though. Uh, the rift is described okay. as a dark, deep fissure uh, within the dream, but it is not described as the core of the dream. That place is the heart of the dream, and that is the place that we visit after the Emerald Nightmare Raid. And this okay. is where the more recent events of the Legion expansion come in that you probably will have remembered. Right. So you're maybe thinking, why would Nazoth have us go into the Nightmare and defeat his forces? Well, it's pretty darn clear that he had control over the Rift of Valen, but it's also super clear that he had never breached the heart of the dream. Well, the heart was breached. Players were invited in. Because when we defeat Xavius, we're taken to the heart of the dream. That's what Scenarius calls it. Oh, yeah, dude. so we're in the very heart of the dream, which is you know itself what? some... What? The, uh, the tentacles that are in the Xavius fight are also in the Zakul fight. You think that could mean anything? Wait, what? Uh, l let me yeah. look and see. Uh, Raid's Eternal Palace. Does it show for the, the mobs here? Oh, shit, it doesn't. Okay, uh... Oh, you're thinking the slaps, right? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let me see if I can show this. Um... Should be at the beginning, right? No, you're, you're right about that. What the fuck? Um... Yeah, that that actually is really big. What the fuck, man? Good. I mean, could be something. I don't know. Yeah. I just think that's interesting. Sure is. Now we seem to get to where Nizoth's corruption could never reach. And that's just fine, because we act as the carriers of that corruption. And okay. it's hard to know exactly how this happens, but after we defeat uh, Xavius um, and get to the heart, and as many of you will remember, the uh, the flower called the Remnant of the Void was introduced to the heart. It's there, we can see it. So either the banishment of the Rift, like, turns into that and is taken through with us. Maybe the Shadow Priest unknowingly acted as the carrier, but either way, we introduce the Remnant of the Void. Now, either way, the spirit of Shadow the Zara Priest were a is mistake. Uh, drawn towards the Remnant of the Void, and uh, Zalatat says this, 
this. Almost completely gone, as if it never existed, but the rift is deep and vast, and somewhere down there it stirs. Something has changed. The last prison weakens. We must prepare. Now, we know that Zalatath is not really our friend. We know that now more than ever. So whenever she says we must prepare, she certainly does not mean to fight Nazoth. She means to prepare for him coming. We then need to only look at the rest of the Legion expansion. We clear out the tomb of Sargaris and we imprison Sargaris while also locking up the Titans and Illidan. Now, given that Sargaris wanted to destroy Azeroth and how the Titans want to destroy or imprison the old gods, uh, that was clearly a victory for the old gods. It's clearly the one that- So they wanted them to imprison Sargaris because that would have imprisoned them and the Titans were the oh. only people that could actually oppose the old gods, right? Bro. What? What a twist! The Titans are bad. Well, they're not bad, but they got you. They, uh, m like the old gods' plan was to move the Titans out of the story. That that's basically it. That's what I think it's gonna be. Dude, do you think we will fight? Wait, the, the Titans, Titans are bad. Wait, how how do you think that? Well, why are they bad? A and R is evil. What? Titans are responsible for the old gods. What? They spread light and thus spread void. Well, uh, well, I, I thought the I thought the void lords created the old gods. It's just Pyro, dude. He, he. I mean, come on. You you know him. He he's. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Well, I no, I'm, I'm thinking. I, that's what I thought. The Void Wards, I thought the Void Wards created the old gods. All right, all right we'll, we'll get back to this. That is referred to as the victory that went unnoticed in Ogmot's journal. And then we also thwart the whole Illidan prophecy too. Uh, we then move into BFA. And uh, things are initially quite faction focused. But then, of course, we okay. see the Crucible of uh, Storms. We see how that is essentially a test of us. That's whenever real shit happens. Work. We keep on proving ourselves to him. Well, later on in patch 8.2, we then establish the Heart Forge. Okay. Now, as a part of this quest line, the, the quest line is sort of powered up, Caligos arrives. And he tells us to head to the Emerald Dream to check up on the Green Flight. When we're there, well, we see how things have progressed. We enter the heart of the dream and we are attacked by a Void Horror. Okay. That all seems fine, but it really is. Because, it's not yeah, fine because it's a void horror in the Emerald Dream. Void's tentacle. It's not now, that fine. That tentacle is blocking the cave where the remnant of the void was planted after the Emerald Nightmare raid. In its place, you find a twisted collection of roots, and you're actually able to loot the remnant of the void. So we kind of need to break this down because this means a whole bunch of things. First, you actually get a remnant of the void whenever you uh, loot it, and uh, second, the old one has taken root. Now, to expand on the first point, well, it's interesting that... So, so the, the, somebody linked a quote, and they, they gave me a quote, and they said, uh, well, basically, whenever the guy said, uh, Ilganos said that we came from the same creator. No, because the old gods created the curse of flesh, right? Wasn't that yogg Saron that created the curse of flesh? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the old gods, effectively, by, by you existing, you are, in a way... A creation of the old gods. They created themselves? Well, no. I mean, like, I, I don't know, like, if they create themselves or they, uh, they, they push it forwards. Uh, whoa, dude, look, look on the screen, look at the roots and tell me it doesn't look like the deep home skybox. It, it, it does. It fucking does. Um, This is big. This is this so is... fucking big. This, this wow. is... This is insane. Insanity. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, well, let's... You know what? Just one second. Before, before we go ahead and we move forward, I just want to get this mount real quick and uh, get this out of the way. Uh, then we'll finish the video, okay? Let me uh, minimize this real quick, and we'll do this. Old gods were created by the Void... Yeah, I thought old gods were created by the Void Lords. And then, wh wh what was it? Did they, uh, did they? I don't know, like, spread or proliferate the curse of flesh, right? I mean, I, I don't know, but it seems like that that's what kind of makes sense, right? That even Algon predicted that... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, even Algon predicted that the world was beyond repair. That's true. What the fuck? 
Uh, Janus Cinematic foreshadows it whenever you first arrived to Colteris. Who created the Void Wards? Uh, I, and Chris Metzen. Uh, but like, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I've honestly, like, I, I've not gotten this mount so many times. I don't even expect to get it anymore. Like, this is actually depressing. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not happy about this. Okay, well, we'll get to the rest of the video. Once the void corruption has taken root, you're then okay. able to loot the remnant back to you. Now, making this lootable, that's a conscious choice by Blizzard, so we can be pretty sh uh, damn sure they're doing that for a reason. Can somebody now, invite me to a realm with this rare route? Doug Fresh on Kalthazad. What does that mean? Well, you've got to remember, this is the heart of the dream. It okay. all looks like nature. But then you notice, there's a strange, titan-looking construction near the entrance. To me, it's pretty clear that that is some form of entrance that's blocked up. Perhaps with the runes around it mean that's something. That's true. But the point is, there's something beneath the ground. There's something deeper in the heart of the dream. And, well, where do roots go? They go deeper. They penetrate yep. down into the earth. Now, there is yet another bit of Titan information that ties into this. Mother says that she has located another Titan facility. Well, what if that is actually talking about the new Titan facility in the heart of the dream? the one from which Freya creates the dream. I mean, just look at all the tentacles that pop up out of the ground in that area and the void terror. How would they just appear in the heart of the dream? Clearly, it's not down to just the void flower existing. It's down to that thing having taken root. That's the new bit of information here. That's what Blizzard are trying to communicate, that it's taken root, and I think it has corrupted whatever is beneath the earth there. Okay. Now, given how the Emerald Dream is deeply connected okay. to the world soul, this might be one of the primary ways for Nazoth to corrupt Azeroth. I mean, if I was being really speculative here, I'd say that this is perhaps maybe only one half of the picture. I think the dream's equivalent and opposite seems to be the Shadowlands, and I speculate oh, wow. that um, you know that's tied to why the elemental force of spirit was absorbed. No, by I never it. even thought of that. Yeah, I I'd like to see them do. Uh, I I'd like to see them do more stuff with the Shadowlands, man. That'd be fucking awesome. The um, Azeroth World Soul early on. Now, given everything else that's going on, uh, on with um, on death, okay. maybe Nazoth plans to corrupt the Shadowlands as well. Maybe that's why he manipulated Zalatath into Sylvanas' hands. Kind of hard to know, and a lot of this might seem a little bit crazy, but I do have something that's even more crazy. I mean, what if we opened up all sorts of time paradoxes and BS by okay. saying that that deep, dark fissure in the void known as the Rift of Valon, uh, you know, is, is the void corruption, right? Now, this might be getting really time paradoxy. Remember, the Rift of Valon can connect to the Twisting Nether, which can kind of break time and space. Oh, so, shit. You know, what if this is the Rift being created? Here now? we go. Okay, we... You could totally go wild with what this would actually implicate, especially okay. about what power Titan World Soul actually has and how that could be manipulated. But, uh, I mean, I don't really think they're going to be doing that. Now, there is, of course, one other bit of information. Yazera is no longer present. You see, back in Legion, we saw her spirit, uh, that it was drawn towards the remnant of the Void. Well, now that the remnant has taken root and has been looted by us, Yazera's gone. So what could that mean? Could the remnant have consumed her? Is her soul now trapped in that lower, void-corrupted level of the dream's heart? Okay. Is it possible that it was destroyed or even corrupted by the void? All that we know is where she was last seen and that she's now gone. And during 8.2, during the questing, characters talk about how she isn't truly gone. Well, given what I've seen, I'd hazard to guess that that is correct, but very much not in the way that those characters would hope. And then finally, two bits of lore that I couldn't really fit into the main video that um, are kind of tangentially related. Okay. So, when you use the Heartforge, there's a nature magic like effect that kind of happens. Now, given the connection between the world soul and the dream and the okay. heart, I think that's a bit of a nod, but it could just be a spell effect that they thought. Okay, was th this is. Use. So, there's that. And uh, I mean, this doesn't likely mean much. But Sargeras knew? Was Maybe. Through the nightmare version of Lake um, Elunara. Remember that in Legion, we end up on a planet called. Elunaria, pretty oh, similar yeah. names. I wonder if that's something they're doing. And I mean, come on, the Rift's connection to space and time, uh, I just think is an interesting coincidence. That they could probably do something kind of cute with in the future. So there you go. What a whole stack fuck? of new and interesting lore. Uh, yeah, definitely seems like there's a Sir lot Garrison, more. Sir Garrison, nothing wrong. Yeah, that's true. whatever that weird, mysterious new Titan complex is, 
And I doubt it's going to be good for us, but I'm pretty sure it will lead to another expansion or a patch or something along those lines. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to check out today's sponsor, Skillshare. They've been fantastic. I kind of want to go over to the Emerald and, uh, Nightmare yeah, that, like cheers. now and, and, and actually just go to the Emerald Dream area uh, and, and see what it's like. There ain't going to be nothing new there. What are you looking for? Well, just to look at it, right? In, in first person. And, and well, that's dumb. Why? Why is that dumb? There ain't nothing there. There's. It's not like you're going to, you know, find something unique and cool and special. Yeah. It's a waste of time. No, we literally can queue into it in LFR and it will take five minutes. Like, and we All can right. be over there. It, it will be that fucking fast. So let me just get back on my warrior and I'll look at this. I mean, Azeroth's core has been polluted by Activision. One day I'll run out of clever ways to pass the Skillshare segment of the video. I guess the Void Dragon model is making more sense now. Uh, her heart is a creator and we feel that Blizzard storytelling and RPG immersion is slow, bad, and disjointed. These videos didn't exist. Maybe 5% of the players would even get what's going on, what the game is about. Well, that that's very true. So basically, like, here's pretty much the way that, like, I'm looking.